you know what, I don't really have free time, but I also don't have another meeting for a little while, and I could use a break. So how about I spend some time giving a little bit of attention to my pretty little temporary pet? Stand up and come over here, dear. Oh, I know, I know, your hands are cuffed together behind the chair. But you aren't tied up anymore otherwise. Are you trying to tell me you can't stand up from a chair without your hands? Are you that much of a worthless brat that you can't handle as minor a task as standing up with such an unrelated and inconsequential roadblock as having your hands tied behind your back? Oh, come on, dear. Just lean forward, pull your arms over the back, and stand up. There. See? Even for you, that wasn't so hard, now was it? Now be an obedient pet and come over here. Good girl. Now kneel beneath me. What, first you need your hands free to stand up, now you need them to kneel? Oh, you just want to use your hands so you can get on your knees comfortably. Do I look like I care if you drop your knees comfortably? I don't care if you drop straight down on them painfully. I don't care if you figure out how to get down slowly and comfortably. All I care about is that you aren't following my orders. So get on your knees. Now. That's better. Now, let me just grab your face by the chin. And just let me move your head around a little while I look you over. Take in the beauty and all that. (laughs) Good. It seems when you're beneath me and literally in my clutches, you finally know your place. Does being beneath me like this make you feel small and powerless? It should. After all, you are completely at my mercy. I could do whatever I want to you. And all you could do is take it and say thank you, miss. Go ahead, right now. Say thank you for putting me on my knees and holding me by the chin, miss. Aw, what a good little girl for me. Here, have a little head pat for being so good. You don't need to worry too much about what I might do to you. After all, this is temporary for the time being. I wouldn't want to do anything too permanent. So I won't do much until I actually own you. But I will give you a taste. After all, what's the point in having you if I don't get to play with you a little bit? Oh, darling, did you think me putting you on your knees with your hands tied behind your back was a taste? Did you think that was the worst I would do before the 48 hours are up? No, dear. I'll give you a taste of what it would be like to be my pet. Bring your arms in front of you. Oh, no, your arms are tied behind your back? How could I have forgotten? How dare I, how could I possibly tell you to do something you can't do? I don't make mistakes, pet. I told you to bring your arms in front of you, so do it. Oh, what a pitiful display this is, pulling and struggling at your cuffs. If you don't have your arms in front of you by the time I count down from ten, then you will be getting punished. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, one half, one quarter, oh, zero. I'm sorry, dear. I even tried to give you a little extra time like this sweet, generous mistress I am. But even with that extra time, you just didn't do it. Now I have no choice but to punish you. I'm sorry, dear, but I can't go too easy on you. After all, good pets need to learn to obey. So whatever will I do with you? We don't want to mark up that pretty face of yours, and we don't want to do anything too permanent to you. So what could that possibly leave us? I'm going to spank you. Hard. 
But how many do you think you deserve? Hmm. How about... I'm going to spank you 20 times. For how little you reacted to that, you're either so innocent you don't realize how much 20 is, or you're so not innocent that 20 isn't a big deal to you. Okay, let me just pull you up over my lap, and let's get these pants and panties down. Oh no, you didn't think I was going to let you keep those on for this, did you? No, 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 we can't have you getting off easy here. 20 hard spanks to your bare bottom. And you're going to count each one, but not out loud. If I ask you how many you've had and your number is different from mine, you're going to get an extra two. Ready? I'll give you a countdown of the first one. Three. Oh, listen to that yelp. You really weren't ready for that yet, were you? Oh, good. It wasn't just the surprise of the first one. I was really hoping your reaction would be because you didn't realize what you're in for. Okay, dear, what number are we at? Five? Good girl, that's right. Maybe I need to be going harder if I want to make you lose track. What number, dear? Eleven. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I only have ten. Looks like that's an extra two. Twelve left. Are you trying to argue with me? Whether my number is correct or not doesn't matter. What matters is that I am in charge and you do what you're told. None of this, but that was eleven. Nonsense. All you should say is, yes, miss. Of course you're correct. I'm sorry for being such a worthless screw-up mess. That's just going to have to be an extra three for arguing with me. Now you're all the way back up to 15 left. Oh, but look, you're already getting so red. Oh, well. Are you ready for number 11 out of 25, dear? Oh, that's right. I don't care. God, listen to those sounds you're making. It's going to be so hard to give you up if I do get my money back on time. What number are we at, darling? 18? Good girl. We're almost done now. I know. I know it hurts. Just think, if you didn't lose track, we'd be done already. But you not only lost track, you even argued with me about it. Okay, dear, what number? Very good, that's right. That means this is the last one. But that just means we have to make it special, doesn't it? Hmm, how will we make this more memorable? <laughs> Look at you quiver and tense up as my hand moves. Maybe that's it. I could make the last one special by teasing you with it. Drawing it out. Can you wonder when it's coming? Or if it even will at all? Maybe the last one will be special because it won't happen. Or maybe it really will just be extra hard. There you go. Let's get these pants back up. And there you are. All done. Even though you did argue a bit, you still took your punishment like a good girl. Let me go ahead and stand you up off my lap now. Only about a day left now. What do you think, dear? Am I going to get my money on time or am I going to get to keep you? Ooh, or maybe you've loved every second of this and I'm going to get both. Oh, you say no now, but let's see what you actually do when or even if the time comes. After all, we're almost halfway through our time and we haven't heard anything back. Maybe instead of trying to get you back, he's just trying to get out of town. He might not even be coming for you. In which case, you won't ever get the chance to choose. Alright, I should get back to work. I'd say you can have a seat again, but... Well, I don't think you want to right now.
which is fine by me because you look so pretty standing there like that anyway. 